started in the 1960s, and in the 1980s it was acquired by Acor. So Acor being one of the largest hospitality companies in Europe, uh, they're huge, they're just really big. This is one of their luxury brands. You can see here, the hotel is still kind of under construction a little bit. There's the lobby for, I think it's the offices, just on the other side there. The lobby does feel a little disjointed. Where the location of the lobby, the elevator, the bar, the restaurants on the second floor, it, uh, it feels bigger than it needs to be. Just to give you an idea of what I mean by disjointed. The entry lobby's here, and then you have this other lobby with these random chairs and tables, seemingly just to take up space. And then you have the spiral staircase, but the entrance to the spiral staircase is all the way over here. Nobody ever uses this. It's long, it's long just to get up to the uh, restaurant area. There is an escalator uh, down here. You can see it there, but you can't access it from the lobby. You have to go out and around and go up the escalator. So there's really no easy way to get anywhere in here. Okay, let's explore the room together. Now remember, this is a brand new hotel. It only opened a couple months ago. And with all new hotels, it takes a little bit of time for them to, to get up to speed, to get things just right. That's very, very normal. So a lot of the things that I'm gonna point out, kind of nitpicking here and there, take it with a grain of salt because it is a new hotel and they are still getting their SOPs down. And it's just something that comes with a brand new hotel, just like a brand new restaurant. If you go to a restaurant on the first day it opens, <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare. Uh, same thing with a hotel. It takes a couple of months for you know them to get the swing of things. So that being said, let's go through the room. When you arrive in the room, this is what you're greeted with. It's kind of a, um, a strange little turn and then into the room itself. So we'll start on the left with the main bathroom. Okay. His and her mirrors, nicely done. A tub, a nice soaking tub. Looks pretty deep, I like that. Kind of a matted um, privacy glass here. Lots of bath salts in that one. Very nice, very soft robes, I like that. Pretty standard affair. Okay. They are not high-end amenities. They're pretty on the low end, really. Lavin Paris, because it is the Sofitel, so you're gonna see a lot of things in French here. Attention to detail, attention to detail. Everything is super clean. I'm starting to see this a lot. You have a privacy window on and off, so if you click this, then you can. it turns off the privacy, so you can see into the bedroom. You click it once more, you get privacy. A rainfall shower. Nice marble. I really like it. So far, so good. Not too bad. I mean, everything where you would expect it to be. So this is similar to the experience I had at the La Meridian. You can watch that video here. That was in Zhongshan. It looks good, but around the edges, it's, um, it's not so good. Check it out. You can see here, it's just some fit and finish issues. And some glue residue here. I mean, that's, that's a simple thing that they can take care of. Very, very simple. And it just, it makes it look dirty. Switch gears feels a little cheap. I do like the wood paneling, you know? I can smell it. It smells like wood paneling. It has a walk-in closet. Now this glass is not a privacy glass for the closet. A nice big place to stick your things. Uh, it's an open closet concept, so it doesn't close. So everyone who comes in can see your clothes hanging up. I don't really prefer that, but you know, whatever. An iron and ironing board, check. Umbrella, slippers. Now, this is something I'm actually seeing in a lot of hotels, and I think it's a fabulous idea. I wanna see it a lot more. So the main vanities are over here with the tub and the shower, and then the toilet is over here. That's a great idea. If, if you're sharing the room with somebody, you can separate the two. So one person entering in the bathroom and occupying it all to themselves. You can have one person in the toilet area, one person in the main uh, vanity area. The other thing that I like about this is people use hotels for meetings. They come here for conferences, right? So what you can do is you can close this off and have privacy for all of your toiletries and your regular things. And your guests still have a powder room with their own guest sink. 
That is a great idea. More hotels need to do this. Now, that being said, this is very tiny. It feels very small. I mean, it is a vanity sink. Oh, look at that. Yes. An electric toilet. Excellent. All five-star hotels, in fact, all hotels, period, should provide an electric toilet seat. It's 2021. There's no reason why you should not have this. But it does feel very, very cramped in here. And it's not very spacious. There's one major, major issue with this room. And I'll share that with you in a second. But first, the bed. It is a lovely looking bed. The linens look very clean. It's super, super soft. It is a real king size bed. I like how they have wood floors with a landing carpet. That is something I think is a trend that you're gonna to start to see a lot more. So you can sit here, you can take your shoes off, put your slippers on and be barefoot when you come out of the bed. The first thing that strikes me in this room is the very high ceilings. You know, together with the vanity, the restroom, the walk-in closet and this giant room, it's long and it's pretty big. It's a good sized room, it's not bad at all. Some alcove artwork, that's cool, I can dig it, it's okay, but I really, really like the TV. It is a massive television, that's really big. <laughs> and it's brand new, very cool. But everywhere I go, there are minor fit and finish issues with some of the hardware in here. It feels like a modern, but mass produced room. So like down here, you can see here in the corners, very dirty. It's the details that count. It's got these giant windows and a pretty good view. I'm in a newer part of the city of Hangzhou. A quite lovely Chase Lounger. I, I really dig it. It's rock hard. There's no throw pillow. So it's not something I would want to sit in and relax. But they do offer some turned down fruits and some uh, snacks. Remember what I told you about them putting furniture in places just for the sake of having furniture there. It's as if they're not really designed for the space that it's in. And this is a perfect example of that. Let me show you. So here we have a lovely corner of the room and the chase lounger is um, kind of in the middle, which leaves the corner exposed. And you have this floor lamp with the cord. I mean, that just, to me, that looks very sloppy. We can do better than that. I mean, here you've got, you know, some artwork here on the wall, which is standard, right? But because the corner is empty, it feels like the room is empty. You know what it needs? It needs some kind of, of splash of color, some kind of area rug here to make this area feel more homey and some pillows here to make the the lounger more comfortable. Mini bar and tea set is on the far end next to the window. I've seen this a lot. This is a new trend in hotels. It's okay. The execution is pretty good, I think. Not a whole lot of light, but you know, you got the tea sets. These are just for decoration. There's nothing in them. Let's take a look at the mini bar. Not too bad. I've seen worse, but only one little thing of potato chips and one little thing of nuts. This carpet is fine, but it's frayed around the edges and it's just dirty. It just makes the floor very dirty. Gotta sweep. Now remember what I told you about the major, major problem with this room is that there is no workstation. Well, that's not true. There's a little spot here. Look at this. This is very disappointing. This is supposed to be the workstation. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly disappointed with this. I mean, first of all, this right here, it's nice that they have an air purifier. Okay, I get that. But it looks very out of place, cheesy. It's not supposed to be so prominent in a room like this. You should hide it maybe behind a, a corner or something. And it's taking up the only plug at the, at the desk or table, whatever it is. Absolutely no comfort whatsoever in this chair. I wouldn't sit here for more than five minutes. I definitely will not be able to do any work at this tiny, tiny little table. I mean, switch gear, I have two USB ports, phone and internet jack, which nobody ever uses. See a compendium, that's just a room service menu. And of course, everything is brand new, but this is really the only thing, this little piece here, that tells you this is a place for work. On this desk also is, you know, tissue, splash of orange, I get that, that's fine, but what is this? Why is this even here? What is the purpose 
of this. That's quite a large fail for a business hotel. All that being said though, I mean, it's hard to complain. It is a very lovely room. And I'm going to be very comfortable here, sleeping here and using this as my base of operations for the next couple of days, minus of course a workstation. Time for the bed comfort test. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I can swim in these sheets for an evening or two. There's my view, wow. This is the south side of Hangzhou. A very lovely little city park down there and you see all the infrastructure built. And I like that it's not a perfect grid, you know, they kind of go off and have different angles for the streets. As the city gets built up, that'll be very interesting to see the shapes of the buildings and the shapes of the properties themselves. The view is of a, a little plaza. Only on the second floor. Bacon, however, is severely undercooked, as are the eggs. One of the restaurants here is called Baguettes, but it's not a French restaurant, it's actually Cantonese food. This is the main bar, and as you can see, it's very large and very empty. Huh. I'm sorry, but 128 RMB for a hamburger that's literally that big. I mean, it's very, very small. That is unacceptable, in my opinion. Now, I enjoyed my stay here. It was a nice hotel, no, don't get me wrong. And all the room, all the things about the room and all the nitpicking and everything, that is just me being, you know, me. <laughs> Tell them the location is okay. It's uh, not, you know, I think uh, just opposite the block is a uh, subway station, so you can get around the town very easily from here. Because it is a brand new hotel, only a couple months old, it is very rough around the edges. Even the staff, the staff is wonderful. They're very eager to help you, but there's a, a they seem to be a little timid. I mean, they're not scared as if they are doing things for the first time. And I get that same feeling from the room itself. This hotel has a great potential to be very, very good, but it's still rough around the edges. And I think, you know, it needs a little bit more time to mature. It needs to be put back on the vine before it's plucked off again. <laughs>